This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, good morning. I'm going to put in a significant effort for weak fish. I um, really haven't gotten on them this year, and the time is right, so I got a good tide early in the morning. We'll see what happens with that, and then, then I'm going to try for fluke, and that hasn't been great either, and ironically, I... I kind of know I could catch bass and blues right now, but I'm going to try for these other guys, so we'll see. All right, so weak fish have big swim bladder, so uh, the name of the game here is um, motor over them and find them on the fish finder, because they'll show up real well, especially if they're in good schools. Um, so obviously not seeing anything near the bottom, it's not a good sign, but I'm going over towards some marks. A couple other not great signs, uh, there's no other boats here. And in particular, the professionals aren't out here. You know, there's no uh, pin hookers, which are commercial hook and line fishermen. When the weak fish were in good last year, those guys were out. I think they had like a 100 pound limit. They'd be out here every morning. I haven't seen them at all this year. But you know, it's, it's clean. You know, I mean, they got a little something there. I mean, I'm not saying there's no weak fish here. There's definitely weak fish here. It's not seen a lot, but who knows? You know what, maybe I'll go over a pile. If not, I've got another spot to try. If it doesn't work, I'll go fluke fishing, figure out something. Okay, I've moved on to another spot, and I'm marking a little bit there, and right there on the right-hand side of the fish finder, you're going to see, you know, some stuff coming up, and that's about as good as I've seen, so I'm going to go ahead, shut down on this, and uh, and give it a shot, and see what I can do. You know, if I could just catch one or two, I could maybe try a couple different things here. This spot, I kind of prefer a bucktail. Maybe I should just switch over right now. Oh, there was a hit on the way down. That's very weak fish-ish. I'm gonna do this just a little, then I'm gonna put a put a bucktail with a gulp on. That was definitely a hit. Ooh, damn, another good hit. All right, so this fish here. Oh, there it is. All right, all right, this fish here. I don't know why I'm not hooking him. Oh my God, and it's off. Bluefish. Yep, wasn't weak fish, it was bluefish. Lost two rigs there, decided to make a little move, and uh, spot where I had some bass the previous week, and. Yeah, just try that for a bit. All right, blue's there too, so I'm gonna go into some deeper water and do some vertical snap jigging, see if I can do something different. Yes, yeah, so the final prototype on a rod that's uh, gonna be available midsummer at J&H Tackle. It's gonna be a great light fluke rod, uh, among other things. Back to the first weak fish spot that I cruised over, but didn't fish. Give it a shot. There we go. 
No indication that this is a this is a foul hook something. This isn't even a freaking weak fish. Well, it's a weak fish, but a baby. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, there's one there anyway, right? Yeah, one. All right. Let's try fluke. Actually felt like a fluke. Yeah, definitely. Shorty, but a fluke. And our limit's 18 and a half inches, four fish. That one's not worth measuring. Yeah, so a feature of this trip, the uh, Sea Robin's porgies are hammering the gulp. Um, getting a lot of chopped up grubs. Um, yeah, so this is Eastern Long Island. I often forget to mention that. All right, you see that trolling motor up there? Yep, I am in autopilot. I'm controlling the tweaking speed manually, but putting it in autopilot so it's taking care of direction. And I got to tell you, without that, you can just forget this fishing because I'm running a curved contour line and I've got some breeze against current, I've got some eddies. The trolling motor is making it possible. Foul hook porgy. Foul hook something. So I said on a bite, he either laid on that or probably more likely he was hanging onto the grub and I whacked him with the bucktail, got him underneath the mouth. But yep, okay, um, that's a dinner fish, so that's one. And here comes John Sweeney, who you've seen me fish with many times. One short, one small keeper. Nope, there's a fluke. Whoa, that is a, come on, that is definitely a fluke. It's, that's a hit that is like no other fish. And it's probably on a teaser. Yeah, I say that because it's a very distinct, sharp tap. And uh, that's often a teaser hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that chopped gulp? I'd love to know whether he hit it that way or he did that. I don't know if anybody's got any experience just leaving those chopped gulps on and still catching fluke because I got to tell you, you're going to see by the end of this trip how much gulp I'm going to go through. And yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. You know, since they dropped this limit down a half an inch, I, I got to measure a little bit because I'm not, my eyes haven't quite adjusted. So yeah, he was about a half inch short.
All right, another one about 19, so it's uh, it's a keeper. Uh, no doubt about that one coming up, but battery ran out. Yeah, I gotta be more careful, but when fishing's slow, I tend not to be on top of the battery too much. But, yep, he makes it too, so that's three keepers, one more for a limit. And guess what? Now it's like an hour and a half has passed, <laughs> and I haven't had another fluke, man. Fishing is slow, yeah. All right, the current direction has shifted because of an eddy, um, not a tide change. So you've got to go with the current. So I'm trolling very slow, about one mile an hour, with the current, with the current in this area. Boy, they're just not holding on. This is why I've hooked a couple, like, underneath the mouth. There he is, come on. Stay on So yeah, four fish limited, but look at all the gulp. I count 20 grubs here. And you know what? These are different batches, different seasons in the packages, in the jars. It didn't matter. The porgies, the sea robins really, really were killers. All right, five packs of gulp, four fluke. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner.